Welcome to Linux Hint's YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about string manipulation using library functions in the C programming language. So the very first thing is that you need to include the string.h header file into your C program. Now we are going to go over some of the functions included in that header file. So in our code over here, let's first include the library. And we're going to start off with the most basic string functions, which is to input and output the string to the terminal using gets and puts. So let's write a very simple program to do that. Now as I have prompted the user to input his name, I can get the input by using the gets function. Inside here I just need to pass on the variable in which I am going to store that name. And then I can simply use a statement like printf and I can say something like a new line and then your name is. In the parenthesis I am going to type in the name of the variable. So if I run this code, it is going to ask me for my name I am going to write in Linux int. And there you go it prints out the name back to me in string format. And then we have a string length function which we can use to calculate the length of a particular string. So let's take a string characters and I'm going to give it some string value like Linux int and then I can print out the length of this particular string by using the function str length and I'm going to pass in the variable. Now as you can see I have not used a format specifier. That is because I cannot use the normal format specifier percentage %d for a numeric value. Because the output from this particular string length is of the type s size. So for that I need to use this format specifier zu or zu. Then I can simply run my code and I'll get my output that the length of this particular string is 9. I can even do this thing where I can create a new string and this time around I use the traditional way of having characters. And at the very end I'm going to place in an escape character which is the backslash 0. So if I change this variable to string 2 and then run my code again, I get the output 5. And then we have a function to concatenate two strings. So I'm going to create two string variables and then I can use the function strcat which is the string concatenate function. Now this function takes in two arguments. The first is the destination and the second is obviously the second string. So I want to concatenate the second string with the first string. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pass in the first string in the first parameter and the second string in the second parameter. And then what I will do is that I'll print out the values from the first string just like that. So if I run my code, you can see that both of my strings were concatenated into a single string. So that's how you use the string concatenate function. And then we have two functions. One is the string lower and string upper. For that I'm going to create another string variable. And I'm going to type in a printf function, simply going to use a new line and a percentage %s format specifier. And I'm going to use the function str upper and then pass in my variable. Similarly, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate this line and this time around I'm going to use the str lwr which stands for string lower. So if I run this code, I get my output. The first output is totally capitalized and the second output is all in lower case. So that's how you use the string upper and string lower functions. So those were some of the library functions to manipulate strings in the C programming language. 